Guys, guys, I have fascinating news. Super excited. I went out there and to the store and I found more barbs. Yeah, anyway. I got more you know, tiger barbs. They're acclimating right now. What I'm gonna do is basically uh, introduce little by little, you know, more fish into the new habitat. So hopefully uh, everything will be going smoothly before the ranas enter. The young juvies back there. See the young juvies there, uh, right there. Uh -huh. Anyway, so quick. Unboxing, <laughs> unboxing, unbagging of three barbs. I'm going with three. We'll see the, you know, hopefully the chubs won't try to chase them down and eat them. All right, hang on. There you go. I don't really want to bring in water from Petco to my, to my habitat, but it isn't a lot of water, that's one thing. Alright barbarians. Three barbarians. Thought that was three. I don't know how many entered, but I only see two. So that's it. You see how they do. But yeah, it's making the tank look much livelier with these little guys. Found this tiger barbs to be quite pleasing and useful. So hopefully we'll uh, we'll do this one you know one day test on these guys, and tomorrow we'll be introducing the young juvenile piranha, red belt piranha, into this new habitat. So I drained a little bit of water to put in the bucket down here. I know you can't see it. It's down here nearby. And I'm gonna put the ranas all in there instead of carrying them individually in a net. I'm just gonna put them right down here. Tries to transfer them as fast as possible without too much trauma. They are serious. Don't jump out and everything else. Like they, they've tried already. Try not to get any guppies in here either. Yeah, they're feisty. Bite the net. Oh, one just fell to the freaking floor. I hope she's gonna be okay. She hit the floor quite hard. <laughs> Told you don't jump out. They're just nuts. I'll do whatever to avoid capture. Like this. I had a little bit too much water in here than I would like to work with. Oh, they're hanging on with their teeth. It's amazing. This net is pretty sturdy. I didn't even try this black one because it's simply going to tear right off. Hopefully we won't be losing that one that hit the floor. Don't worry about her. It's a pretty pirate. I did catch her with a shoe, <laughs> like a soccer, you know, pin, whatever, pin drop type of thing. I don't want her to hit the ground, but I really don't think it, uh, it was good for her anyway. I think that's it. That's it, I think I got them all without any casualties. Yep. Just so you can see for yourself, there's a freaking hole in the net now. So, plastic net may work better. <laughs> Basically what I'm getting at. Time to get these bad boys. Okay, well I'm rolling I guess, I didn't realize. Editing later. Let's get
get these bad boys in there as many as I can get. All on school. Oh man, they are biting each other. You can see them grabbing onto each other, even fins and stuff. We can get three hits. Come on, get in that damn man. I think I got them all, including the barbarians. I don't know where they went. The big one's right there. I see that one that got hit, that hit the floor. She's got a mark on her. I hope it all goes well. All the barbarians are in. See? That's the one that hit the ground. I hope they'll do all right. That makes me worried. They seem to be okay, just kind of laying there. The water is about three degrees warmer here than it is there. It is literally 77, 78 in here, it's 75 in that one. So there should be a little bit of water adjustment, a temperature acclimation process that they'll go through but yeah they're pick, they're picking up they're they're perking back up the water's clean oxidized everything's good I have one two three four five six seven there I think I'm kind of missing one somewhere over here there are so many hiding spots now that uh, I can't locate one two that's two right there Four, five, six, seven. It's seven. I'm still missing one. Oh no. Am I missing one out of the tank? I'm missing one fish. That's just crazy. You go. This is a pretty big fish. It doesn't just. Yeah, you guys. So I'm a little nervous because uh, apparently the guy that hit the floor jumped out of the net. Yeah, he's hurt. The other guys, look at them. Looking awesome. I mean, beautiful. Let me flip it out. They really enjoy this new habitat. Kind of cruising through. It's very bright in here, but they're young, and that's what I want them to do is get used to traffic, lights, and everything else, like us. The, you know, my piranha behind me, which are used to the movement and not very skittish. But here's the problem. This dude. Is hurt. Yeah, he's uh, he's just chilling there. I mean, he's breathing and everything else, but he's quite mo motionless. Not happy about this. We're gonna be down to seven. That's probably my fault, if anything. <sighs> so, yeah, as you can see, the communities of fish. Look at that. Chubs are together, the tiger barbs are together, yet the, uh, you know, piranhas are hanging out together. Pretty amazing how they can coexist for just a few days when things are all good and the food is available. But I'm sure the dynamics will be changing soon. Sorry about the glass, it's all dirty, I should have even washed it. Anyway. Let's keep an eye on that guy, see, so make sure that he, uh, he does well, that he recovers. Because I would be devastated to lose a guy like that. I mean, I did try to catch him with my foot, so he didn't hit the ground directly, but, you know, the mucus on his body and everything else, it's, you know, affects his health, and right now he will be tested. His immune system will surely be, be tested. So, we'll see what happens. Maybe he'll snap out of it when he sees his friends. Alright, check in later. 
about to go, but check it out. That little swim by, swim over, indeed yields some results. He uh, seems to be perking up back there. See, they found him like, what up, what up, good. So that's good news. He seems to be out of his, you know, coma or whatever the hell. Hopefully he's all right. All right, I think it's him right here. Yep, that's him right there. He's got that listening injury on top of his head is probably what he landed on my shoe. So, I'm glad he's out. All right, cool. Can't wait till it's a little darker so you guys can really see it. It'll pop, you know, obviously the camera's flushing, washing it out and whatnot. But yeah, it's coming together. Much brighter setup than this. This is obviously a lot more mature as well. But in time, uh, this will, you know, take shape. Some plants and things and, you know, mosses, whatnot, will start to uh, flourish and hopefully fill in the tank. So, yeah, it's really looking good.